so hello students so today i am with the new experiment which is on maximum power transfer theorem so basically this theorem states that in a linear bilateral network maximum power is delivered to the load or is dissipated by the load when the load resistor is equal to the internal resistance or the impedance of the source okay so this law could also be stated as that if the load resistor is equal to the value of source resistance or the thevenin's resistance in that case only the power dissipated across the load or by the load is the maximum okay so we could say here it mathematically that the max condition for maximum power dissipation is that the load resistor should be equal to the rth or thevenin's resistor okay or the internal resistance of the source okay so basically when we are going to talk about the ideal source okay we are going to take the thevenin's resistance okay so maximum power transfer theorem is applied both to the dc and ac circuit okay but remember one thing this theorem does not satisfy the goal of maximum efficiency as the maximum efficiency of maximum power transfer theorem is only 50% okay so for performing the circuit we will firstly uh, take a circuit and then we will analyze that uh, at which value of the load resistor we are going to get the maximum value of the power dissipation okay so we would get at uh, this type of graph okay where the peak for the peak value of dissipation power dissipation would be when only when our load that is rl is equal to rth okay or the thevenin's resistor so we will now move on to the circuit in multi stem so here i will make a circuit so for that thing i will take a dc power source a ground also so remember uh, firstly we are going to take the circuit we will find the thevenin's resistor for the sorry the thevenin's equivalent circuit for uh, that uh, uh, particular circuit and then we'll find out the maximum power transfer theorem validation okay so firstly i'm going to make here circuit only so uh, take a simple resistor of suppose a uh, 1 kilo ohm here okay take one more 1 kilo ohm resistor and take simply a load okay so load should be of higher value suppose take a uh, 5 kilo ohm resistor sorry it comes to be of all master database basic 5 kilo ohm done okay so uh, now i will just uh, draw the circuit just rotate it rotate this thing also okay so this is our basically the circuit okay so i'll just join the ground also here so here for uh, finding the thevenin's equivalent of the circuit i will find out the thevenin's voltage and thevenin's resistor so for that thing i will use a multimeter here okay so for using the multimeter remember firstly uh, just check that what is the voltage across this resistor that is our r3 okay so if you will run this thing okay i have taken 12 volt okay so just uh, take 10 volt okay you don't need to take a higher value of voltage here for making the values simple i have taken 10 volt of source here okay and then run this circuit so just see here the value of voltage which we are getting across this load resistor is 4.545 okay this i have done as uh, after uh, finding out the thevenin's equivalent circuit we have to check that whether our circuit that is the thevenin equivalent circuit it 
coincides with the original circuits or not okay whether the value of the voltage across the load resistor in the original circuit and in the thevenin equivalent circuit is same or not okay for that purpose i have found out the value of voltage here so we have got a value of 4.545 volt here okay so as we know that for finding the value of thevenin's voltage we have to firstly delete this load resistor okay now i will find out that what is the value of the voltage here so just see here uh, we are getting a value of uh, 5 volt here okay so that means the 5 volt is our thevenin's voltage okay so uh, i would just uh, draw a dc power source of 5 volt here okay this 5 volt is for the norton's sorry the thevenin's equivalent circuit now uh, for finding out uh, the value of the not thought thevenin's resistor i will just uh, delete this uh, voltage source and then i will just join this thing okay i have uh, replaced uh, the voltage source here by short circuit okay as the internal impedance of the voltage source is zero okay now just change this value to ohm and run this thing okay so i have got a value of 500 ohm of resistor so this is our thevenin's resistor okay so i will just uh, take a 500 ohm resistor here okay so uh, done this thing so now i will complete again the original circuit and this circuit also by the load okay so load i have taken was 5 kilo ohm just rotate it done now i will take dc power source of 10 volt done so here i will take ground also so i am copying the ground here okay now for analyzing the our thevenin equivalent circuit i will firstly add a multimeter here which would act as a voltmeter okay so now just check both the multimeter value here okay so we are seeing that yes in the thevenin equivalent circuit also the voltage across the load resistor is same okay in both the case both in the original circuit and the thevenin equivalent circuit this means that yes our thevenin equivalent circuit is great it's okay okay so now we will find out that since the thevenin's equivalent resistor or the thevenin's resistor is 500 ohm so according to maximum power transfer theorem this load resistor should be around 500 ohm so that this could dissipate maximum power okay so this can be done in uh, different different way okay firstly i will delete uh, this connection the original part as uh, we didn't need the circuit now okay as we have found out the thevenin's equivalent circuit for this thing the first way is that we have to find out the voltage across the load resistor and the current in the circuit and then we will just multiply v into i to get the power dissipation okay as we know that uh, the formula of power is v into i okay so uh, i could just place a text here also as you know that uh, the formula of p is equal to v multiply by i okay so if you will do this thing 
you will also get the power dissipation okay so for finding this thing what you have to do you have to change the value of this register every time this r5 register that is our load register okay so every time you have to change the value of this load register you will find a different value of voltage across this register and for every instance of that time you have to find out the value of current in this circuit also okay so in that case you have to add a ammeter also here okay so for every case you have to find out that what is the current in this circuit what is the value of voltage across this register and every time you have to multiply v into i to get the value of power dissipation okay so you have to change the value of register okay as we know that according to maximum power transfer theorem this value of load register should be around 500 ohm okay so we will take the value of uh, this register from uh, suppose uh, 100 ohm to 2 kilo ohm okay and for every time we will find out the value okay for so for every instance of time you have to change the value of this load register okay the another simple way is that you can uh, just uh, use the sweep function of this multi sim okay so for using the sweep function of the multi sim we don't need to uh, connect all those things here okay the multimeter and ammeter you can do it easily okay so what is the process basically you have to click on this interactive you have to use the parameter sweep here okay we will use the device parameter only we have to use the value of register we are sweeping the value of register only so we will in device type we will use register only okay so the name of the register it's asking whether it is r3 or r5 so just see here the load register is r5 so we are sweeping the r5 only so we will use r5 only here so the parameter would be the register as the register value is also only changing so the present value it is showing 5000 ohm that is our 5 kilo ohm register okay but according to the maximum power transfer theorem uh, from the statement we come to know that this uh, value of register should be around 500 ohm okay for maximum power dis uh, dissipation so we will start this uh, simulation from around uh, suppose take from 100 ohm okay so it is taken here this thing kilo ohm so it starts from 100 ohm and then run to suppose a uh, 5 kilo ohm or 10 kilo ohm okay take more number of uh, points so in order to make the graph look good okay and uh, just uh, run this thing uh, in ohm only okay so uh, not 1.1 increment take it to be around uh, suppose 100 ohm increment okay so number the number of points should be 100 or you could take here uh, 15 increment for every point which would be taken to make the graph okay so in the transient just choose the dc operating point okay in the output part we have to find out the power okay so the power across this r5 register so just just add it here in the variable okay so everything is okay so uh, just run this thing so now you can see here this dc simulation has been run for the device parameter sweep okay so uh, just change the background here to white okay now this looks good okay you can see here this uh, y axis shows the power and this x axis shows the register so just check here that at which value of register we are getting uh, this uh, maximum power dissipation so for that thing uh, we use use the cursor okay so just move the cursor so just check here this is the cursor 2 okay so for the cursor 2 just see here the value of x2 okay it shows the x2 value here x2 value means this horizontal value here okay and this y2 shows the distance of this point okay in the y direction okay so this x2 and y2 are basically the coordinates of this cursor okay so if we can see here and that this point uh, i think uh, the dissipation is maximum okay so that's why i have uh, moved the cursor to this point 
So you can see here that at this point Y2 value is 12.49. This is the maximum power dissipation. Okay. And if we'll just move the cursor, uh, we will get the value of 12.4989 up to maximum. Yes, maximum this I am getting 12.4989. Okay, and in this part, the value of X2 is 498.41. That means uh, around 500 ohm. Okay, we are getting the value for around 500 ohm only. We are getting the maximum dissipation. So, yes. We have confirmed from the graph only in the multisim that yes, the maximum dissipation is when the value of uh, register is around 500 ohm. Okay, so the value here it comes 498.4177. So if you want, uh, you could take uh, an Excel sheet here also. Okay, so just use this button to export the data to the Excel sheet. So this will create an Excel sheet. Okay, so this is our Excel sheet. Okay, so basically the X axis is my register. So you could rename it by resistance value. Okay, and this Y axis is basically the power part. Okay, so here you can see that uh, the value of uh, the power is 0 0.0124. Okay, when the value of a register is 500 ohm. Okay. So if you will uh, just move little down or little upward from these, this uh, row, you will find that the value of power decreases below this also and above this also. So that means that maximum value of power is here only when our register was 500 ohm. Okay. So you could uh, use any method. Okay. So you could... Uh, simply use this method of the parameter sweep or you could uh, do this experiment uh, for uh, ch changing the value of this 5 kilo ohm register also every time in that case you have to find out the value of uh, B and I and you have to multiply the voltage and current in order to get the power dissipation okay so this is how this uh, experiment ends. I hope you have understood that how to perform the maximum power transfer theorem experiment. So thank you for watching this experiment.